Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this regular Degla Schmegla corkboard into this fabulous DIY glam fun corkboard. It is super easy and super inexpensive. So if you want to see how I transform that corkboard into this beautiful corkboard, then just keep watching. So the most important thing that you'll need is a corkboard, of course, and then you're going to want to find a fabric which you would like to cover your corkboard with, a pair of scissors, some thumbtacks, and of course a glue gun. Now I went to my local fabric store and I came across this really pretty gray tiger striped fabric and it was on clearance so I got it for $3 and some change a yard and I just thought it would match perfectly with my lamp and the decor in my room. Um, so the next step in this project is just simply covering the entire cork board with your fabric. You want to make sure that it's really even especially if your fabric has distinctive lines. I noticed that when I first covered my cork board the um, lines were not even and it wasn't lined perfectly so it did look a little crooked so you'll see that I'll go back and I'll actually fix it but you just want to cover your entire cork board with the fabric and then I use the thumb thumbtacks that I will be using to embellish the cork board to hold my fabric in place while I glue gun it. So now I just simply turn the cork board over to make sure that the fabric was nice and tight. And here you can see that I'm popping out the thumbtacks because I realized that the fabric was actually crooked. So I'm going to go back now and just make sure I align the lines on the fabric perfectly so that it looks symmetric and even and neat. So I do recommend that when you're choosing a fabric, stay away from fabrics that have distinctive lines like the one that I have just because it makes it really tough to have to align the fabric properly with your cork board so it doesn't look crooked. So once your fabric is pinned to your cork board and it's nice and secure, you're going to want to cut off any excess fabric off the cork board so that it makes the glue gunning process easy and you don't have a bunch of fabric to the back of the cork board making it extremely bulky. I probably could have cut a little bit more fabric off but that's okay, it was still pretty easy to glue gun the fabric to the back of the cork board which you can see me doing now. Also keep in mind whenever you're gluing the fabric to the back of the cork board you want to make sure that you're pulling it so it's nice and tight just so that the front side of the cork board doesn't have any like loose or gapping um, in the fabric and then here I'm just doing the same thing on the other side I'm just pulling out the thumbtacks that was holding the fabric in place um, and now just glue gutting the fabric down. Now once you have your sides glued down you're going to go ahead and fold the excess fabric in a 90 degree angle and then pin it to the inside of the cork board and that's going to create your corner and you're going to want to do this to all four corners and this is just going to help you secure the corners while you glue gun the other side so they're not moving around and it just makes it an easy and fast process. So once you're finished securing the fabric to the back of the cork board, you're going to want to go ahead and start adding the push pins along the edge of your cork board. Adding the push pins to your cork board is really going to dress up your cork board. It's going to give it a dash of distinction. I just think it looks so much more glam when you add the push pins to it. Now keep in mind this is the hardest part of the project just because it is hard to keep all the push pins in line and also making sure that the gaps are um, even in between each one but once you're done it's gonna look so pretty just keep in mind mine was not perfect at all but it did look really nice once it was completed and this is the completed look of the cork board. I hope that you guys found it super easy um, and affordable. It only took me $11 to create this entire look. I plan on using my cork board as a vision board to remind myself of my goals that I want to achieve within the next few years. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you plan on using your cork board for. I'd like to know and it'd be interesting to see what your ideas are. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like this video. And also, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section below. I will leave any additional information in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.